friends and greetings for the day welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB advanced test analyst we are actually looking back at the 3.3 because uh, there was some issue with the last topic of 3.3 experience based technique so the video was not approved so maybe I just creating a new tutorial so there was some issue with the video so kind apologies for that and I'm just adding the same video here once again in the playlist so if you have skipped this or missed this point or you have a question about this topic so we are looking at it once again so uh, this belongs to 3.3 experience based technique and the next technique or the last technique of this chapter is defect based techniques so when it comes to advanced level syllabus and we try to understand uh, experience based techniques uh, there's it was earlier in the previous labels it was uh, a defect based technique altogether a category where we have different approach different references being used but now in the new syllabus it is being included as a part of experience based technique but generally when you talk about defect based technique it makes use of uh, basis uh, as the previously found defects so generally quite often seen in the product based uh, organizations where the process remains the same the product remains the same only certain upgradation happens so we are quite uh, familiar with the typical types of defects which quite often happen and we typically found with our uh, you know legacy test cases which help us to detect similar type of defects and we know the common areas where which are critical so when it comes about uh, understanding on these kind of inputs we generally create a list out of this uh, common typical defects which you generally find in the process and the product and we call that list as defect taxonomy so when you talk about defect taxonomy it consists of the list of typical defects which are previously found in your process and product and use that taxonomy to further guide your upcoming process or upcoming testing in the future projects so that making use of defect taxonomy is what you call it as defect based technique so here we are talking about the same thing and a uh, you know, typical list uh, is being prepared which includes a lot of type like what is defect types, what are the typical root causes, what are the failure symptoms and all defect related data will be included in that. And that is created at the, at the organization level. So it is very important for the test analyst to make sure that the defect taxonomy is being updated from time to time as you proceed to the upcoming project versions of course uh, there will be something new which will be included or uncovered as a part of different testing so it's not always that you stick to the previous taxonomy and all your test cases must be always aligned you should keep on updating your taxonomy including your test cases to uncover the new areas of the defects and so on so when it comes to uh, application of the defect based technique this can be generally applied in system testing but it is not limited to system testing you can also apply it in the previous cycles if applicable and more efficient when compared to other techniques so but generally uh, quite often it is applied uh, during the system testing when the product is ready or in terms of combination of different components are done so a taxonomy can really help you to uh, you know create those system level test cases which can uncover the risk areas and critical defects which can be easily found so this is what we have from the defect based technique and we'll be just quickly looking at a small question from this particular chapter because that i would have already missed as a part of uh, the sample question so here is a question on that which of the following describes typical characteristics of defect based testing technique now remember team this particular topic is at k2 so there's only theoretical based questions so you won't have any kind of you know evaluation involved so which of these describes a typical characteristic of defect based testing technique so options are a defect based techniques are based on the analysis and classification of previously found defects defect based techniques are mainly used at the component test level defect based technique concentrate on defect found during the analysis of the documentation of system defect based techniques are a subcategory of specification based technique so if you club this all together of course the right answer is a because it is a technique which is based on the analysis and classification of previously found defects whereas b component test level no it is mainly for system but not limited to that so if they use the word mainly for component test level that is a wrong option c defect based technique concentrates on defects found during the document analysis documentation no it's about dynamic execution not the static one 
So uh, when you come to D, of course, it is not a subcategory of specification based. It is a subcategory of experience based technique. So the right answer is A. And uh, that is what we have got from this particular tutorial. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address all your queries. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.